Good morning, beloved of the Lord. I want to officially welcome you this morning in the name of Jesus for taking our time in your schedule time to watch this video. The Lord richly bless you in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. This morning I'll be sharing with you what a title how to know if you are ready for a miracle how to know if you are ready for a miracle i want to start by saying you are destined as a sign and wonder isaiah chapter 8 verse 18 so you are a candidate for signs and what and wonders praise god when a woman is pregnant, there are signs around that points to the fact that this person is pregnant. Hallelujah. So also, there are signs to show that you are ready for a miracle. So I'll be sharing with you some of these signs. Listen and be blessed in the name of Jesus. Sign number one, when full obedience becomes your mandate. John chapter 2, verse 5. Whatever it tells you to do, do it. Praise God. You remember Jesus at the wedding? He said, told them, fill the pot. Full obedience. They did. Take from the pot and serve the king. They did. You know the end result? A miracle was born. The water was turned to wine. Why? Full obedience. The prophet told Neman, go to Jordan deep. How many times? Seven. He did the sixth time. There was no miracle. But when it was complete, full obedience, the miracle was born. God is waiting for your full obedience to get the full miracle package. And I see you getting there in the name of Jesus. Number two, sign. When you agree totally with the oracle. In Moshe chapter 3, verse 3, the Bible says, two can only work together except they agree. The word miracle is a combination of two words. Miracle, me, oracle, me, oracle. When you and the oracle come together, agree on a particular word, marriage, business, career, health, it becomes what? A miracle. Remember Mary? Mary was told you are going to have what? A child, you are going to be pregnant. And she agreed. Be it unto me, as I said, I agree with you. And you know the story? She became pregnant instantly. As you agree with the oracle, which is Jesus, see your miracle born in the name of Jesus. Sign number three, when you are ready to break traditional rules, societal norms, and medical verdict. Shout hallelujah. You remember the lepers during the time of Elijah? The societal laws or norms says they are not permitted to be around people because they are lepers, so they were cast out, isolated. But the lepers, we are the one that generated the miracle for abundance. If we stay here, we die. But if we go there, we die. So let's move. Let's break the societal world norms. So they left the isolation and went down to the city. And you know the rest of the story? A miracle was born. Right in front of them was abundance. As you break rules, I see you return with testimony in the name of Jesus. Amen. Sign number four, when you adamantly refuse to take no for an answer. Praise God. I share this my testimony with you. When my wife, when we were about to have our second baby, we went to the hospital. The doctor said the baby is too big. Then we are going to do for CS. I said, no, CS is not written in my Bible. Praise God. 
and he said, You are making mouth, so you will soon beg me. And I responded, If I beg you, let me throw away my Bible. And the doctor left us. The midwife, everybody left us. We were there for four hours. And God showed up. Because I refused to take what? CS for an answer. And the child will deliver in three minutes. Mother alive, baby alive, and of course, father alive. And we left the hospital with a gift for safe delivery. As you take no for an answer, I see God giving a miracle in the name of Jesus. Amen. Sign number five. When you convince yourself that today is my day, come rain, come sun. Hallelujah. A man of God had a crusade. And in that crusade, people were healed. All manner of healing was taking place. And a young man was there, seeing everything happening. And the crusade closed. This young man was not healed. Praise God. And he needed healing. After the close of the crusade, he went and met the man of God and told him, Man of God, I am supposed to be healed today. I am supposed to be healed what? today. The man of God said, Do you mean it? He said, Yes. So the man of God prayed for him and he received what? His healing. When you convince yourself that today is your day, remember, the day you are ready, that is the day God is ready. Shout hallelujah. Sign number six. When you start to believe and celebrate the testimony of others. When you start to what? Believe and celebrate the testimony of others. Hallelujah. Many people don't believe miracles and testimony. When they share them, they just say, hmm, they commonize it. No, that means you're not ready for it. When you believe the testimony of others, and you celebrate it, then you are next in line. Praise God. God's servant, my father, Bishop David Epo, saw the dynastic structure at Ola Robert University, and he celebrated it, and he said, this thing can happen anywhere. And we are here today in Nigeria, in Ota. We have a wonderful university called Covenant University. Praise God. Why he celebrated the testimony of all our robot. Shout hallelujah. What about Mary? Mary was told that Elizabeth, who was called Barre, is now pregnant. And she celebrated Elizabeth's fruitfulness. And what you get? She became pregnant also. You want a miracle job? Celebrate your neighbor that just got a miracle job. You want the fruit of the womb? Celebrate your neighbor, your friend, who is pregnant right now. Hallelujah. You want to get married? Why not? Join that your friend that is preparing for marriage plans right now. And I see God do your own speedily in the name of Jesus. And number seven, lastly, when your faith comes alive. When your faith what? Comes alive. Whitney Houston sang a song. There will be miracles when you believe, when you will believe. When, not if, when. There will be miracles when you believe. Your faith is the key. Your faith is what? Is the key. If you want miracle, your faith. If your faith comes alive, your miracle will be delivered. So remember the woman with the issue of blood? He said, Thy faith has made you what? Oh, her faith. Her faith. I see your faith. Put it in your hand, your miracle, in the name of Jesus. This is some of the things or points to show that you are ready for the miracle. As you engage this readiness, your miracle shall be delivered in the name of Jesus. I'm expecting your testimonies because I'm looking forward to it in Jesus' name. Don't forget to leave your comments below and I'm expecting your testimony. Remember, you are destined for the top. Congratulations. God bless you. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Till we meet again, I remain your host, Pastor Israel Bubemi Mabuitene. Be blessed. In Jesus' name. Remember, 
you are ready for a miracle. You are next in line for a miracle. Amen. Peace.